Hello, this is Ryan with TrendLizard.com again. Uh, we are going to look at Terra Firma Capital, uh, get a better idea of where it might head from here. Uh, so let's dive in. Um, incepted in 2008, very, what's the word, lightly traded uh, for many of the uh, first several years. That's definitely changed. You can see there's a little bit more detail to the pattern as it gets uh, going here off basically the 2013 low. Prior to that, it was really lightly traded. So it's hard to make a, a ton of determinations from what happened from 2008 basically into 2013. Uh, it, low, it put in a low at uh, five cents uh, right at the start or the end of 2009, it looks like, maybe the beginning of 2010. Uh, and from then, it's been in an uptrend, which is nice. Obviously, a move from five cents up to about a dollar in 2015 is a great move, 20 fold increase. Um, so Generally speaking, it's an uptrend. Uh, looking at the move off the 2013 low, this looks generally trendy. Uh, it does look trendy. It looks like a nice move. It looks like something that we might be able to work with. I wouldn't pay too much attention to anything prior to that because it was so lightly traded other than saying, hey, it's been in an uptrend. So let's zoom in a little bit. This is looking at the move off the 2013 low. And again, it does have a generally trendy look to it. Recall that trendy moves play out in uh, five waves. So I've lab labeled it five waves. I haven't really tried to label any more of this internal stuff just because it is a lightly traded stock at the end of the day. So it's hard to say exactly what happened there. Generally speaking, it looks, feels trendy, uh, all good signs. So um, since 2015, looks like maybe about uh, April or so, it's been in a pullback. So uh, it's trying to reverse that now in, in 2016, but it has been moving lower since then. This pullback does look like a counter trend move. Um, this is this is another bullish sign. First we got a trendy up move here, now we got what looks like a counter trend pullback here. So these are all things that look to be developing into what could be a great buying opportunity uh, in the near future. So let's zoom in again. Um, so this is uh, focusing in on the pullback off the 2015 high. Again, this is a lot more indecisive and a lot more sideways than the move that it led into it. This, this stuff here looks trendy. This looks like a counter trend move. So here's what we're looking at in terms of trading it. On the pullback here, uh, if this pullback is over, if it ended in February of 2016, uh, and this is the resumption of the overall uptrend, terra firma needs to stay above 68 pennies, 68 cents. If it moves below there, I don't know that I would consider buying this guy. Uh, it would mean that this big counter trend pullback isn't over yet. That would open up the door to a move all the way back down to about 48 cents. If it gets below 48 cents, forget it. Don't ever consider trading this guy once it moves below 48 cents. But uh, more applicable to the current situation is you want it to stay above 68 cents. If it can do that and it can work its way up to 90 uh, then the sky's the limit. This thing will look like it can take off and, and begin another big up move kind of like it did back off the 2013 low here. Uh, but those are the levels I would be watching. If it moves below 68, uh, it opens the door to a larger pullback. Not really something you want to be dealing with right now. You want to be dealing with trends, uh, ideally something that's resuming its uptrend, and that's what this could be as long as it stays above 68. And then if it uh, moves above 90, it confirms the counter trend nature of this pullback, which it already appears to be, and opens up the door for a much bigger up move from there, uh, at which time you would trail the stop. So if it, if it goes above 90, um, you could buy it. You could put a stop around 75, trail it as it goes up from there. If you have more questions as this develops, feel free to email me, and I can give you some key levels or, or uh, places where you'd want to put your stop level. So it uh, looks, looks very potential, Look like there's a ton of potential here, like it could really get going, but you want to see a couple things happen first just to confirm that this pullback's over and that you're not buying into uh, some big choppy move that's not even ready to finish. So hopefully that's helpful. I'll get your next ticker to you shortly. Thanks.